Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and in this video we'll be breaking down today's performance and what this means for the future of the stock price. And with an exciting week ahead of us, this could be our last chance to buy in before we see the stock price absolutely skyrocket. And quickly before we begin, make sure you comment your price predictions for tomorrow and if you think some of our growers will have a good earnings call or a bad earnings call. And now let's get right into the video. So speaking of that earnings call, on March 29th in the after hours, Sundial Growers will be sharing their financial results for the fourth quarter of 2021. And with quarter three being an incredible quarter for the company and with them reporting a profit for the first time ever, we have high hopes for this earnings call and there's a solid chance we can see Sundial Growers once again beat expectations. And of course, if we do, that'll make the stock price explode even more. And make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications because on Sunday, I'll be making a video where I break down everything we can expect to see and some other things we need to look out for during this earnings call. But of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video and in my last video, we have an exciting week ahead of us because leading up to the earnings call, we have multiple catalysts that could help the stock price rise even more. And these catalysts include Sundial Growers officially completing their acquisition of Alcana. And the set date is March 30th, but both companies have said they expect the deal to officially close before this date. And for those who don't already know, Sundial Growers was originally supposed to have their earnings call on March 17th, but they moved the date back to March 29th. And I believe they did this because they want to announce their acquisition closing before the earnings call, so this will help the stock price go up even more. And then the release of the actual earnings results, which will make the stock price run up even more after it already ran up from the acquisition closing. And this is a genius move because Sundial has until August 8th to get their stock price back above $1 in order to avoid being delisted from the stock market. So by announcing the acquisition closing before the earnings call, that will bump up the stock price and allow the stock to run up even more with the earnings results and hopefully get us closer to $1. And the next catalyst we have possibly coming before the earnings call is Sundial Growers updating investors on their joint venture with the SAF Group going public. And there are rumors that we'll get an announcement within the next couple of days, but I believe we'll most likely hear more information about this during or after the earnings call instead of before. But of course, I could be wrong. And if Sundial Growers does not release an update about this joint venture going public before the earnings call, then expect them to release some sort of information within the next couple of days because over the last year, they've released some information the week before the earnings call in order to build up anticipation for the actual earnings call. And I expect them to do it again because they have done it for every single earnings call. And it could be information about an upcoming acquisition or an update about one of their acquisitions besides Alcana or just any general promising information about the company. And now that we are less than a week away from the earnings call, I expect them to release something within the next couple of days, so be ready. So SEDL has a lot of positive things going for them right now, and it's looked like we'll see the stock price continue to rise. And what is helping us rise even more is the entire cannabis sector growing and improving as another cannabis company called Aurora Cannabis just acquired a company called Terra Pharma for around $38 million. And of course, that acquisition isn't much compared to what we've seen Sundial do, but it is still a promising sign that the entire sector is experiencing growth. And with SNDL being the face and leader of this sector, this is just the beginning, as we still have a lot more room to grow. And now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right into these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where could we see SNDL go tomorrow, Thursday, March 24th? So with SNDL coming up another 4% today, we are now up over 26% for just the last week of trading. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, we are not done yet because we still have a bunch of events coming up that will make the stock price rise even more. And then of course we have the earnings call and that will really be the cherry on top and I think that will be what sends us closer to that $1 level. But for tomorrow, I think we'll see things calm down just a little bit. And as I predicted in my last video, I expect us to come up 4% today which thankfully we did. But after two days in a row of seeing a lot of green, I think we'll sort of just kick back a little bit and take a day to relax before we go up even more. But obviously, if we get some breaking news from Sundial Growers, that will obviously change. But for tomorrow, I expect us to go up about 2% and maintain pretty stable throughout most of the day. And I expect us to hit a high of $0.64 cents and a low of $0.59. Cents. But I expect us to close the day around the $0.61 cent level. But of course, as I just said, if we do get some information from Sundial Growers, we could reach much higher levels. 
And that is going to be all for this video, guys. And I would love to hear what you guys think about where SNDL could go tomorrow. So feel free to comment your price predictions down below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. And peace out. Woo!